Hi friends, this is Mainak Misra and welcome back to my channel. Today I will discuss with you a German film All Quiet on the Western Front by directed by Edward Berger. The world is well aware of German novelist and World War I veteran Eric Maria Remarks World War I best novel, classic anti-war novel, all quiet on the Western Front. And the world has seen two screen adaptations based on the novel by Lewis Milestone and Delbert Mann. Edward Berger's All Quiet on the Western Front is the first German film production based on the novel. Even though many viewers argue that the film focuses much on war and lacks character development, it is an incredibly well-made film with detailed war sequences. However, the biggest similarity between the novel and the film is that both portray the devastating impact of war and most certainly do not glorify it. A group of schoolboys join the armed forces. They idealize patriotism. But they regret their decisions when they are sent to the battlefield. They get to know and feel the real impact of war. At each and every moment, they encounter death as if the flow of life can get stopped at any moment. in an ocean of agonies. Basic survival is the biggest question. In all quiet on the Western Front, filmmaker Edward Berger sometimes deviates from the novel, adds a few subplots and most importantly, digs deeper into World War I and its aftermath. Now let's discuss the story. A group of schoolboys listen to a patriotic lecture by a teacher in classroom and they get so influenced by that speech that they idealize patriotism and end up enlisting their names in German Imperial Army. However, their dreams are slowly shattered. They get to know and feel the devastating impact of war when they fight on front line. Paul receives the recycled uniform of a dead soldier. The schoolboys meet and befriend a senior soldier named Cat. Ludwig is unfortunately killed in the war on the first night. On 7th, they joined in 1917, but on 7th November 1918, German politician Matthias Erzberger meets German authorities and vouches for an armistice with the Allies in order to stop Germany's mounting losses and deaths in the war. Paul and Kat steal a goose from a French farm. Franz has sex with a French woman during night and brings her scarf as a souvenir. 
On 9th November 1918, German authorities led by Erzberger board the train to the forest of Campaign to initiate the armistice negotiations. Paul and his squad members trace the dead bodies of 60 young German soldiers. General Fredericks has a very strong German ego. He strongly opposes the armistice and orders an attack on the French army. Paul and his squad members intensely fight the French army. On 10th November, the negotiation discussions start. The Supreme Allied Commander Ferdinand Foch gives a 72 hour deadline for the Germans to accept all the non negotiable terms and conditions of the armistice. French Saint Simoned tanks crush the German army. Albert is killed by a flamethrower while attempting to surrender. In the no man's land, Paul repeatedly stabs a French soldier and but he becomes utterly remorseful and begs for his forgiveness when he slowly dies. Then the German authorities come to know about the abdication of Wilhelm II Geyser. German General Paul von Hindenburg instructs Erzberger to accept all the terms and conditions of the armistice, which is going to take effect from 11 a.m. 11th November 1918. Thinking that the war has finally come to an end, German soldiers return to their barracks. Paul reunites with an injured and senior soldier, Jan. Paul and Kat bring food for Kat for Jan. But when they are little away, Jan mutilates his throat with a fork and subsequently dies there. German authorities accept all the terms and conditions of the armistice on 11th November. At 10.45, so General Fredericks is he is not happy at all. He has a very strong German ego. He doesn't want to lose the war like a coward. At 10.45, he orders an all-out attack on the French army. Paul kills few French soldiers before a French soldier spears his body with a bayonet from behind. He comes out of the trench trembling. The war has finally come to an end and all is quiet on the western front. A newly recruited German soldier collects Francis' curve, but not Paul's dog tag. So he remains as an unaccounted soldier in World War I. This is the story.
the most important question is why remark did not include the armistice negotiations but edward burger includes that in his film when remark wrote his novel the world was yet to experience world war 2 so nobody knew that there would be another great war devastating war so he didn't care much about the armistice negotiations but now the world is pretty much aware of world war 2 and its reasons edward burger goes beyond the novel and tries to dig deeper into the reasons of world war 2 and there is no denying the fact that the armistice strongly influenced the rise of nazism adolf hitler as the forerunner and world war 2 so quite naturally he brought the relevance of the armistice negotiations in his film apart from the armistice negotiations there are multiple deviations in the film when paul returns to his home but is not able to adapt to family atmosphere is mentioned in the novel but not in the film it is not shown in the film albert is amputated and sent for prosthetics in the novel but albert is killed by a flame thrower while attempting to surrender in the film general fredericks is a fictional character it is not mentioned in the novel remark mentioned multiple futile training programs and had shown that the boys were not prepared at all because of that so many soldiers innumerable young soldiers died in world war 1 german soldiers but those training programs are not shown in the film there are only a few references of tanks and planes in the novel but there are detailed war sequences in the film tanks like saint summoned tanks so these are the multiple deviations that the film carries however edward burger shows that war doesn't do any good for anybody it is of no use it only results in devastations massacres bloodshed more than 20 million people died in world war 1 and more than 85 million people were killed in world war 2 and there are so many innocent civilians who were killed in the name of false patriotism and nationalism when the young soldiers are forced to fight on the front line when they are deployed on the front line senior generals and politicians enjoy lavish dinners in their mansions they just give orders that's all they fight sometimes but the casualties are more for the young soldiers who fight on the front line so bringing the reference of general fredericks edward burger shows the bitter reality 
of war. He shows in the film that mutilated dead bodies are hanging from the tree. Paul receives the recycled uniform of a dead soldier. And the person at the counter just removes the tag. So the cycle of war continues. One person dies and another is deployed on the front line. It just goes on. Human stupidity just goes on. And human stupidity is the one of the most important reasons, one of the most scariest reasons for this war. Even though the screenplay which is written by Leslie Patterson, Jan Stokel and Edward Berger deviates from the novel multiple times, but the film is an incredibly well-made film with detailed war sequences. The war sequences in the trenches reflect the supreme level of superiority of Berger's filmmaking craft. The entire cast delivers outstanding performances and the devastations of war, the agonies, miseries of war are reflected in their faces, facial expressions. Felix Kammerer as Paul is outstanding. All the emotions are reflected on his face as well. James Friend's cinematography has two parts. On one hand, his dynamic multidimensional cinematography portrays the devastation of war through the gray screen filled with smoke. And on the other hand, his camera captures the magnificent natural beauty of rural landscape. As if the pure bliss is an illusion in the midst of a hellish war. And Sven Bertelmann's editing is also dynamic, much like the cinematography. So together, the cinematography and the editing make the film extremely dynamic and multidimensional. Music by Volker Bertelmann also has two parts. In one part, he is three notes harmonium score portrays that, that little bit junky and clunky or jarring, not the loud score, three notes harmonium score, reflects the devastating impact of war. And on the other hand, the other part of the music reflects optimism as if the boys can feel the warmth of their homes even in that claustrophobic and devastating situation. Production design, art direction, costumes make great contribution to the film the prosthetic works are so realistic that viewers get numb and terrified. And those prosthetic works reflect all the miseries of work. Somebody has lost hand, somebody is seriously injured, somebody's legs are amputated. All the devastations of war are reflected, the costumes, production design, prosthetics. And when the credit rolls in the end, the screen goes silent as if the entire world is mourning the terrible losses of a hellish war. 
all quiet on the western front received widespread critical acclaim across the globe it was nominated for nine academy awards at the 95th academy awards it it won four best foreign language film best cinematography best production design and best original score it was nominated for 14 bafta awards and it and it won seven bafta awards and it was also nominated for best foreign language film at the 80th golden globe awards and it won seven bafta awards at the 76th bafta awards and apart from that it won multiple many awards all over the world it's an incredibly well made film and i hope you have already seen this film and if you have not then please watch this film and let me know your comments below please uh, subscribe to my channel the request again goes to you and press the bell icon so that you do not miss regular updates thank you so much for watching this video thank you and bye